Hello my dear family members, I forgot to upload an advanced coding question which was asked on 2nd November but still it's important for you. This question is pattern based and the fact is I have never seen the pattern based question are being repeated. But the concept is important. You should know that out of 100 they ask 10 questions from pattern so you must not ignore pattern based question. So the question is regarding you are given an integer n and you need to print a butterfly pattern with n rows. So input format is this an integer n lies between 1 to 100 and output is this. For n is equal to 5 the output should be like this. So I hope you understood what you have to do. So please pause the video and solve the problem. Give the code in the comment section right. Okay now let's see the logic what you have to do. So for any kind of pattern based question, few things on, on upon you have to give importance. Those are how many lines you have to print, how many stars you have to print at each line and how many spaces you have to print at each line and uh, how many spaces you have to decrease or increase, how many stars you have to increase or decrease at each line, right? If you point out those things, then it will be more easier to build the logic, right? Okay, let's see how many lines we have to print for n is equal to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for n is equal to 5, we have to print the number of uh, lines is equal to uh, lines is equal to 2n minus 5, right? That means 9. Sorry, 2n minus 1, right? So number of lines is equal to 2n minus 1 and for how many stars you have to print at each line that is 2 at the first line 4 at the second line and 6 at the third fourth uh, sorry 8 at the fourth and 9 at the fifth line that means at the fifth line we have to print the stars 2n minus 1 and then as soon as we encounter the number of line I mean at n is equal to 5 then we started decreasing the number of stars right okay so i hope you understood so how many spaces you have to print at each line that is at the first line we are printing one two three four five six seven and at the second line one two three four five and in the third line one two three and in the fourth line one right so seven five three and 1 that means we have to decrease the number of uh, spaces by 2 at each line and we should start from we should start from n minus 2 that means 5 minus sorry n plus 2 that means 5 plus 2 uh, at which we will start right and as soon as we encounter the uh, n is equal to 5 line then we will again increase the number of spaces that means 1 3 5 and 7. So I hope you understood what you have to do and you know for uh, this half for this half we will use a for loop and for this half we will use another for loop to print the stars separately right. Okay so let's solve the problem. We will solve the problem in Java and Python both so at first solve the problem in Java then we will come to Python. So to see the solution in Python please wait a little then we will see right. Okay. So at first import the java.util.scanner okay and create the scanner class object scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in and take the input so int n is equal to sc dot next int and call the function right butter sorry butterfly n and this will be okay because we will uh, return a void right okay so define the function public static void will return nothing just will print right void butterfly right sorry int n fine so now what we have to do that is we have to calculate the initial space for formatting right. So int space is equal to at first uh, 2 multiply n minus 1 and we have to initialize the number of stars for each line. So 
int n is sorry int star is equal to at first 0 and will increment or decrement as required right okay now we have to print the lines right so for int j is equal to 1 j less than equal to 2 multiply n minus 1 right that means for n is equal to 5 we are printing 9 lines right okay now j plus plus and we have to print one line okay so now check if we are at the first half of the pattern so if we add the first half of the pattern then we will decrement the space by 2 and will increment the starts by 1 why i will make you understand just wait so if we are before the first half of the pattern so we will decrement the space by 2 and we will increment the star by 1 why star uh, why we are uh, incrementing the star is equal to plus 1 uh, as we, we have seen that we have to increment by 2 but why did we take plus 1 because we will run two for loop right so for uh, each loop we will print the stars that's why we took one right so i hope you understood okay now if this not that means if we are after the after the first half that means we have to increment the spaces by two and decrement the star by one right so space plus is equal to two and star minus is equal to one so i hope you understood the logic now we have to print the stars and spaces so so at first we will print this half right so we will print this half so for first line we will print the print one star then second star sorry two star then three star this way so we will print the this half at first right so for the current row we will print the stars for star time so m is equal to one and m less than equal to the star and m plus plus is out the star right sorry okay we have to remove this ln because we have we will not print new line here so after printing the left first half of the stars we have to print the spaces then we will print the stars again right so now print the spaces so for int n is equal to 1 please don't mess up with this n this is not the global variable this is local variable inside for loop right okay now int n is equal to 1 and how many times we will print spaces that is space time right the space we have decremented or incremented here this time we will print the spaces so n plus plus and we will print the spaces okay we have to remove this ln otherwise this will not be proper output okay this is giving error why okay let's change it okay uh let's make it say s right okay s and s okay now we have to print the right half of the pattern so just let me copy this and how many times we will print stars that is star time okay let's make it p p and p one thing to remember that is for n is equal to 5 we had printed 5 stars at the n is equal to 5 but for the third for loop we had to print again uh, the stars but the n is equal to 5 here so what you have to do that is you have to check uh, if condition if uh, it is n is equal to is equal to 5 then we should print 4 stars right so we should avoid the number of n is equal to 5 okay okay so here we have to give an if condition that is if p not equal to n then we will print the stars otherwise not right so i hope you understood what you have to do right okay let's run it and see if this is right or not 
so for n is equal to 5 the output should be oh sorry we had not printed any line oh sorry actually out of the for loop we had printed the line so we had to print this inside the for loop right okay now let's see if this gives right or not so for n is equal to 5 the output should be this and this is fine and let's run for another input let's say 10 and you can see this is fine right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in java but if you didn't still understand then please let me know i will explain briefly in the comment section right let's solve the problem in python but before we proceed to the python solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and please uh, join our telegram channel which i have created recently right okay let's see the solution in python i will not explain the code here briefly because the syntax and logic quite same as java right okay let's define the function butterfly n and at first we have to initialize the stars star is equal to at first 0 and the number of space is equal to 2n minus 1 at first then we had to run a for loop for number of lines for i in a range and we had to check if we are in the first half or not so if i less than equal to n if this then we will incremented increment the space by 2 sorry we had to decrement the space by 2 and we had to increment the star by 1 right star is equal to star plus 1 and if this not that means we are if we are at the last half then we will increment the space by 2 and decrement the star by 1 right ok now just we will print the first half I mean the first left half of the pattern so print so for sorry for uh, m in range of star right star so 1 2 number of star plus 1 ok so print the number of stars ok now for now we'll have to print the spaces between uh, both stars right for uh, k in range 1 to space plus 1 print the spaces ok and now for the last uh, half we'll, we'll print the stars again and you know what is the exception that is for the n is equal to 5 we had the exception right okay sorry so for j in range 1 2 star plus 1 and we had to check if this is if this is not equal to n then we will print the star right print star ok now this is fully fine just now print a new line that is print ok so I hope this will be fine just call the function so print sorry we just have to call the function right so butterfly butterfly n right and just n is equal to int input and we'll see the proper output i think so let's run it and see if this is right or not so for 5 sorry oh actually i had to give the range so range is uh, 1 to 2 n minus 1 right okay now i hope this will be fine so for 5 Oh, sorry, I had to give here end is equal to this, right? So 
sorry okay now i hope this will be properly fine so for n is equal to 5 the output should be this sorry the last line is not being printed why because we had to print 2n right okay so for 5 the output should be this and for 10 the output should be this so i hope you understood the logic and syntax that i used in java and python so if you understood and if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this video so thank you for today's session